Director, uh, Honorable Minister, Your Excellency, Mr. Mutetwa, uh, Consulate General, the members of the press, members of the exiled community of South Africa, the friends, guests, the Narasa family, I uh, would like to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I have been introduced. I am a nephew of Munet. Uh, uh, when I was when Ned left the country in 1965, I was five years old. But I have vivid memories of him. I have fond memories of him that can never go out. Um, but nevertheless, we thank the South African government, more especially the Department of Arts and Culture, the South African Na National Editors Forum, the provincial government of Basel Natal, the city of Basel Natal, for the sterling work they have done in making sure that today we overcome. And when we sing, we have overcome. I, I would like to render it in Zulu. So, when we are having debates, I would just 
go and prepare and say to my team, don't worry, I'm the last one to speak. <laughs> and I go and read my uncle's book. And we go there and I listen to some of the very powerful, very, um, very, very uh, gifted guys speaking. Then when I come, I come with the final one. And I quote from my uncle, I quote from my uncle, and we win the trophy. <laughs> then my English teacher comes to me and says, but you know, I never taught you this English. Why did you get that? <laughs> I said, oh, well, I did not to say it because I was afraid that I would say that I'm political. Because the understanding was that my uncle was political. So I say, no, you go to the uh, Devon City Library. I get it from the Devon City Library. <laughs> now, that is the kind of life that I enjoy. Uh, we were talking with Harold now, Professor Makluka, and I was saying, you know, Harold, this is not about mooning yet. I, my spirit doesn't want to moon him. My spirit wants to celebrate him. Not only him, because uh, in terms of what was the suit, the shang and the spender. Umutu, in terms of our tradition, umutu nabant. A man that you see, a woman that you see, the reverend that you see, has been made by others. She stands on the giants, on the shoulders of the other giants. Next stood on the shoulders of those giants. Some of them went Kentema, Eskia, Pashele, they were men. And, uh, I, and she went and interviewed Willie Mandela in 1964. But she couldn't quote her because she was bad. That's the kind of net I, I, I we, our family would like to, to, to take back to South Africa. And say to the young South Africans, in particular, the memory, the legacy of net, the meaning of net is up to you to dissect that. We don't want to prescribe to you how you must dissect them. But what we're saying is that there's something to learn in terms of transcending or going above limitations, social, economic, political, all kinds of things that inhibit talent. That the government of the country, the people of the country, the democracy that we have, has created the space for all of us to blossom like flowers and flourish. Thank you. I guess this is what we mean when we say in Africa, the dead are not dead. And uh, the Wadela is just shown that uh, one man's words, one man's words can change lives. And there is an example of that. But the family, of course, has spoken. We all know that family and friends is not just people that you are connected to by blood or DNA. Family and friends are always people who give you unconditional love and they nourish your soul and they support you wherever you are. Much as we have already said that Ned wanted to know who his people are and where, where his country is. In America, there are people who welcomed him and lived with him. It is now my pleasure and privilege to uh, invite a former student of uh, Harvard uh, University who knew Ned, uh, uh, Professor uh, Harold McDougall will come forward to share with us his memories of Ned Nakasa. 